going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of News, baby. Today we got 71 mods on the testing list. It's Fact Sheet Friday. And we got six modders to talk about, including a new brand coming to all platforms. Check it out. Starting off with the mod testing list. Today we have 71 mods in testing, with 59 in stage 1 and 12 in stage 2. Some notable mods in stage 1 of testing today include the American Barn, Dozer Blade, and the Fent 900 Vario Forest Tier. Also in testing, we have the John Deere 8030, the Landall 845 AG Hall All Series, which we'll be talking about later in this video, the MAN TGS Agri Truck Pack, and New Holland L330. Rounding out stage one of testing, we have the Sampo HR46 Pack, Self Marketing, and the Centrac. Maps in the first stage of testing today include Victhal, Frankenmuth Farming Map, New Lands, Piney Run, Riverside 22, and Wild River Forest. Some notable mods in Stage 2 of testing today includes the Lizard 1313 Bodies, New Holland T8 Series, and the Voucher Pack still in testing. And your only map in Stage 2 of testing today is Oberkirchheim. With all that being said, we still have 43 mod city waiting to be tested, which is really low, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is also very low at one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, some mods have already been released at the time of recording this video, with more dropping every few minutes. I will be making a mod review video after the news video today, so check the first pinned comment for a link to that once it's here. Just a quick heads up, one of the Steam DB unknown apps was just updated about a day ago. Previously, it had been over a month since its last update, so whatever it is, it's getting more frequent updates as we go along. As always, I will be keeping you guys updated anytime things change here. I would almost suspect that this is probably the year two season pass however i don't actually have any information to back that up other than it just being a guess but what do you guys think it is let me know today is friday meaning that we've got some new fact sheets to take a look at from giant software for the platinum expansion fs22 which is going to be here on tuesday november 15th 2022 for all platforms First up today, we have the Volvo L200H High Lift Wheel Loader. This is going to cost you 381 grand. It's got 341 horsepower, comes with a power shift transmission, 366 liters fuel, travels at 23 miles per hour or 38 kilometers per hour, and weighs 37.3 tons. Our next fact sheet is the Kohler Force Technic K307CH Plus EcoFlex Yarder. This is going to cost you 95 grand. It's got 225 horsepower. I think there's nothing connected to it, so it must be self sufficient. It doesn't say anything about fuel capacity or consumption though however we can see that it can have a span of up to 840 meters which is just shy of like halfway across the standard size map that's wild and it can move up to three tons at a time and our third and final fact sheet today is the volvo bm 2650 for tractor this is going to cost you eighty eight thousand five hundred dollars as 140 horsepower comes with a manual transmission 210 liters of fuel 21 mile per hour or 35 kilometer max speed, and it weighs 7.5 tons. I've already made a video showing these off in detail as well as reviewing some other information that we've got recently, so check that video out if you haven't seen it already. We'll leave that linked in the pinned comment. Making our way over to modern news. Custom modding is officially bringing Landall to Farming Simulator and is now completely licensed for ModHub. They've already sent over the update for the ModHub version of the Lizard trailer to update it to Landall version, which hopefully we will see soon since it's in testing right now by the way there's two versions on mod hub right now one for pc and one for console so i'm not sure if we're gonna have two landalls or if the pc version will be deleted or if they're gonna be merged maybe the one for all platforms is gonna be deleted and we'll just have this version for all platforms either way we'll have to wait and find out pc builder farms is also taking advantage of this and he has announced his next project or at least one of his next projects the landall 7431 disc for all platforms this mod will need some updates done to it though, since it was originally made for Farming Simulator 17, so it's going to take some time. In the meantime, BC Bueller will be finishing up his pickup header, Edgewater map, and the versatile four-wheel drive pack. They've also got to do their next unannounced model before Landall, but they may not do that or may do it depending on how work goes. Nonetheless, I know their Landall will be coming soon to all platforms. No, well, soon. Sometime. <laughs> One mod that I've seen a lot of people asking about is the record from 82 Studio and when it's going to be coming back. Well, if you tuned into David's last live stream a few days ago, you'll know that the TLX Phoenix service crane is working. Man, 82 even dropped a YouTube short showing it off, working on the side of a mountain to grab one of his pickup trucks and bring it back up the mountain. This attachment is one of the coolest roleplay mods and is really helpful if you guys want to play a little bit more realistic. Maybe you get something stuck and need you to get it out. And the best news of all, 
It's coming back for all platforms. Hispano Modding's Choreo Pack did fail testing again this week, and as you can see, the name has changed back to the Kloss Choreo Pack. This is because he ended up having to make a smaller, more realistic size anyway and include it with the mod. Per the information in his latest post on Facebook, you have to have a realistic version of something in a pack if you're going to make an unrealistic version per Giant's request. As you know, this isn't always true, but this is at least the hand that was dealt in this situation. In the end, hopefully this will be the last time that we have to talk about this mod at Farm Some News, and hopefully next week we'll be able to talk about this in the new mod video. Not today though. New monitor to Farm Some News, Camilos0397 has their Class Quadrant 1200 Baylor with Giants waiting testing right now for all platforms. There doesn't look to be anything too crazy or different about this Baylor to function or feature something that we don't already have. However, I will say, it's really nice. Look at this model. Check this out. I love the look of an older Kloss Baylor in the game for all platforms. If you guys are unfamiliar with the modder, they've released a lot of mods for Farming Simulator 22 already. Some are conversions of base game stuff from 19, and some are brand new mods. Definitely a great selection to choose from, and almost everything is for all platforms, which is super epic. And this is only the first page. And lastly today, Hillaby Creek is going to be getting an update from Gamer Designs. There was a bug causing save games to crash, when using the setup beside the sell all to delete lots of trees at one time. This area has been removed, so you're no longer going to be able to remove a mass amount of trees all at once, but he has added some trees to a hillside and a flat spot that was deleted in the last update. I believe that'll make up for it. All trees on the map will be respawned, so a new save game is highly recommended. However, he's not sure if it's actually going to affect the farming at all if you don't start a new save. So. Try it on your old save game just in case before starting a new one. By the way, this will be the last update to Hillaby Creek unless some serious bugs are found. He's going to be moving on to bigger and better projects for us all to enjoy and for all platforms as well. This update was in testing a few days ago, however it must have failed because it hasn't been released and it's not on the testing list anymore. So keep an eye out for it next week. And keep an eye out for the Farm Sim Show podcast right here later today with Clutch Simulations and myself. It's going to be live, there will be issues, and it's going to be really confusing. And you're welcome, just like you're welcome to check out other episodes of Farm Sim News, where links to everything that we talk about in those videos and this one today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. If there's something you'd like to see covered in a future Farm Sim News video, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. Yeah, it's the weekend, baby. What kind of maps are you guys playing on this weekend?